Hey ladies, so this is going to be my postpartum and breastfeeding update. Probably going to make this video a little bit short, I'm sorry. So if you guys have any questions, I would love to do a QA. and a um, So leave me any questions regarding pregnancy, trying to conceive, anything that you can think of. Um, let me know in the comments below and I will have a Q&A up next week for you guys. Um, I really want to do a q and I think it would be really fun to do one. I haven't done one on my channel, I don't think. Um, so if you guys have any questions for me at all, let me know in the comments down below. So this is going to be from birth until now. Um, I'm actually one month postpartum. So um, as far as the C-section went, um, for the first few days and actually for the first week, I was um, pretty. Pa it was pretty painful. Um, I want to say for like the first three days, um, or when the anesthesia wore off and I could actually feel, um, was probably the most painful. Um, it was definitely hard to laugh or talk. Um, to cough, to move pretty much. Um, and for the first week it was really only painful when I had to like turn over in bed or um, if I had to get up from a seating or laying position that was probably when I felt the most pain. Um, I slowly weaned myself off of the pain medication that they gave me which I had two and they were pretty strong. Um, I weaned myself off of those the first week. Um, I want to say by maybe like the sixth or seventh day I was completely done taking um, the pain medication which was great because I did worry about um, it you know being in my breast milk for one and I'm just not the type of person that likes to take a lot of pain medication as is anyway um, if I had it my way I wouldn't take any medication but as you guys know I do have to take my thyroid medication and um, yeah so I kind of need that um, as far as my milk production or my milk coming in, um, that came in on the third day. For the first few days, I obviously was just feeding Sophia colostrum and I am breastfeeding on demand. Um, so whenever she's hungry, I feed her and um, that's going pretty well. Um, my milk production or my milk supply has been great. It's been a lot better than it had been with when I was pregnant with Dallas. Considering that I don't have a thyroid, which is one strike against breastfeeding, and then I also have PCOS, which is another strike. So I'm doing everything that I absolutely can to keep my milk supply up. I'm drinking mother's milk tea, and that's been going well. It doesn't taste the greatest, but um, it has, I think, I think that's one of the contributing factors that my, you know, milk supply has been so great was that I've been I've been drinking that and I'm jumping in between feeds not all the time um, just sometimes and it's also good too to have the extra you know extra milk as a backup um, so I can freeze it if I'm away from Sophia for any long period of time which I haven't been yet um, but if I need to be or if we're out in the store and I'm not able to breastfeed her in public or for some reason um, I have that on hand. I have lost a total of 26 pounds. Um, however, it does not look like that because I do have a lot of loose skin around my stomach area, which I will be taking care of um, with exercising and diet and things like that. I'm trying to tighten that loose skin up as much as I possibly can. I know it's probably never going to look like it was before I had kids, which is completely okay. Um, but I do want it to look better than what it is, which I will show you guys. Um, but I do have a lot of loose skin around my belly area and my sides. So um, my doctor is very happy with my weight loss. He said to keep doing whatever I'm doing now, which is pretty much breastfeeding and walking and drinking tons of water. Yoga or Pilates routine, I haven't decided which or if I want to do both. Um, I definitely want to ease back into exercising because I haven't done like a full-on intense workout since before I got pregnant. So I do want to take it a little bit you know, easy this time around just because, you know, I am still recovering from a C-section. I just had a baby. I haven't exercised that intensely in a long time. So I definitely want to work my way up to it again. As far as, like, my diet goes, um, I'm definitely going to be cleaning it up. It's not been the greatest the last week, um, but I'm definitely going to incorporate more vegetables and fresh fruits and um, good healthy foods instead of junk. So, um, I do want to keep myself accountable and um, that's kind of why I'm making these videos so that I can do that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, again, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you for my next video. Bye. Okay, so there you guys go. This is one month postpartum. Like I said, I still have a lot of, this is all just loose skin down here and probably a little bit of fat too. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm working with.